Hi, it's Matt from Go Green Autos. So this is just a quick little video. We're going to have a look at the battery pack on this 22 kilowatt hour Renault Zoe. So this is a 2016 Renault Zoe and it has done 24 and a half thousand miles. So I've got my scanner plugged here in the diagnostic port, the OD ODB2 port on the Zoe is behind that uh, rubber base in that pocket. And um, we've got the ignition turned on and uh, I'll just show you here, I've got my scanner plugged in here and on the Zoe we're going to look at the BMS module, the battery management system. And it's going to scan the BMS and we're going to look at the live data feed. So it's the real time data coming from that battery pack and we'll look at all signals. So this video is just going to show you um, what the battery reports and we can see down here, if I get my camera a bit closer there, we've got all sorts of information that the battery is reporting. It's reporting the voltages of every single cell in the battery. We are seeing all the voltages there at uh, 4 volts basically. Um, more cells there and we're basically looking to make sure they're all very similar. Um, and we've got then temperatures, temperatures of every uh, module and all at 16 degrees there. Uh, we've got some more voltages, 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 more and more and more. Um, and then down here we're then going to move on to some more temperatures all at 16 degrees so they all look fine. This is the important one the battery condition and that's at 98% so that's 98% state of health so this battery has only lost 2% in that time which is what uh, four years old and then we've got the mileage of the traction battery 39 kilometers uh, of course that's in kilometers and the dash is in mileage so that all looks right uh, total kilowatt hours uh, energy um, charging, battery charge is 87.8% 80, 80, uh, and we can see there the battery is at sort of 90% so yeah that all looks good. Um, then we've got some supply voltages, um, lowest cell charge status, lots and lots of information on here, buzz bar voltages, buzz bar voltages, lots of them. Um, Interesting one here, total capacity 70.6. I've been trying to work out what that means. I'm assuming that is amp hours. Um, and uh, if you multiply that by the 400 volts to get the kilowatts, you're going to come out at 28 kilowatt hours, 28.24 kilowatt hours, which does seem a bit high. These are always stated as 22 kilowatt hour battery pack. In reality, there are 25.92 kilowatt hour battery pack because that's it it's 192 cells 36 amp hour cell 3.74 voltage per cell however this is showing four volts uh, anyway looking on wikipedia that's the information it says and that's 25.92 kilowatt hour pack um, and the available capacity uh, that's the available capacity of the BMS, well, the, the user gets, so the BMS allows the car to use, is 23.3 kilowatt hour. So what the BMS does, the battery management system, is it holds back a bit of capacity of the battery, which allows you to not stress the battery. So when you charge it to full, you're not actually charging it to full. And when you drain the battery down to zero, it's not actually zero. It keeps a bit top and bottom that you as a driver can't access and that helps to prolong the life of the battery. It doesn't stress the battery so much. So these are quoted as a 22 kilowatt hour um, battery pack but in reality it's a 23.3 kilowatt hour that you can use and it's almost a 26 kilowatt hour pack. But anyway the purpose of this video is just to give you some idea of the information that the BMS reports and uh, if you were a garage diagnosing the battery pack all this information is available to you plus other stuff this is just the real-time data feed i can go back here um, and there's other in information um, the uh, error codes 
and the ECU information as well from the BMS. So I hope you find that useful, just a little insight to uh, how the battery packs work there on an electric car. So as you could see, this battery has only lost 2% state of health and this car is now uh, over four years old and has done 25,000 miles. So some cars are better than others. The batteries on the Renault Zoe's are particularly good. They do degrade at a very low uh, rate, uh, generally less than 1% a year. Uh, some other cars like the Nissan Leaf does have a little bit higher degradation than a um, Renault Zoe but as you can see battery degradation isn't really the worry that everyone first thinks when they look at electric cars and the battery will more than outlast the life of the vehicle. So if you've liked this video please do click that thumbs up button on YouTube that really does help the channel and it allows other people to find these videos and maybe you want to have a look at the back catalogue there's plenty of other EV videos on the channel there and uh, please do subscribe and if you click that little bell icon, you'll be notified when I upload a new video.